government failed. Government failed totally. Families, parents failed totally. And the youth do not have any excuse not to ask the people they are elected into powers what they are doing about their future. But again, why should they even ask questions? When they sold their bet right, when they sold, when they sold their, themselves to picking up, uh, uh, sold, sold their bet right by collecting money from people that are elected. So why would the person who you elected think about your future when he has not recovered from the money he paid you to get the seat he seated? You understand it? So we now have a society that is restless, very, very restless. Because if you calculate how much it, uh, 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 they give to them, if, for example, they give them about 10,000 Naira for whatever thing they give to them, and you, you divide 10,000 by 365 by 365 days by four years, you find out that it's less than 65 Kobo, 65 Kobo a day. So what is 65 Kobo going to do to somebody? But then it, becomes, it comes to the fact that the average man on the street is not thinking. It becomes a situation where government has put so much um, importance to, to positions of, um, um, uh, of authority and offices. It becomes a situation where government has even lied to us to want to protect what our fundamental human rights is. But the onus is on families to draw their children back and redirect their steps. So the society, we keep being that until the elected and the elective become responsible in the act of what the future of Nigeria is. Ninja, ninja. We have played it already, but again, when you make a, um, uh, our environment not conducive, it becomes a problem. Where government has not agreed to fight pirates, what do you expect the filmmaker to do? The filmmaker in the first place are taking his family money to do movies and then cannot recoup or get his capital um, um, uh, income spent on such movies. And yet the filmmaker is a tax compliant paying citizen of this nation. And the nation finds it very difficult to create an enabling environment for him. The, 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 the government will not want to persecute the people who pirate his movies. The stories of, Nigerians have, uh, of Nigeria has been told severally. The average filmmaker is seen as a prophet. The average filmmaker has been, been the one that has been able to project into what you are seeing today as a, as a country or a society. But again, the only way you can stop the prediction of, um, of um, a prophet or a soothsayer is to make things very, very difficult for him uh, to give his predictions or, or stay afloat in the things he's doing. That is what you are seeing today. The average filmmaker is not finding it easy at all and therefore cannot excel in his, in his profession to contribute more to the society. Remember once upon a time in this country we contributed about 5% of our national GDP? Yes, because the, condition, the, uh, uh, the environment was conducive for them to prosper. Remember once upon a time in the country of in this uh, country, we were able to mop up prostitutes, we turned into stars, we were able to mop up thieves, we turned into stars. What is the condition today? A government that does not think about its own, politicians who don't think about the nation called Nigeria, Where? Everywhere, long ago, we lost it. Why are we lying to ourselves now? We are lying to ourselves. It's a nation that is lying to itself. We are lying. Ninja, ninja. Uh, the journey of Legends of Nollywood. Uh, I describe it as... Um, it's a potpourri. The good, the bad, and the ugly. 
But I, I, I take solace in the word of God that says um, all things work together for good for those who trust and believe God. There have been lots of ups and downs. It's not been a bed full of roses.